home and always making decisions based on what my boy did and had nothing to do with me is why I'm here, right? So David's Refuge, caring for the caregiver. Each of us, I hope and pray you don't have to, but my guess is you're going to have to experience this at one point. Some people here have raised children. Some people here are not in the process of taking care of their parents, right? Some people have a child who has some type of a disability, a challenge of some sort. And when we have that, we have to leave with our hearts. That's why I'm here. That's why when Kate or Christine call me, no matter what time, day or night, even I pick up and say, Christine, I can't talk to you now. Shut up, I gotta go. <laughs> okay, call me when you can. Uh, so, but that's what I do. Because this agency is so important in such a New York, they set the example of how it is to treat another person with kindness and compassion and love and to work from the bottom of your heart. That's my reason. Plus, I'm the shortest person here. I gotta stand on a chair. <laughs> so, um, the reason I got set up with uh, Dean's Refuge is his persistent. <laughs> Basically, uh, the idea is that wherever she goes, I go. But uh, the truth is, uh, about five years ago, uh, my partner and I actually moved back into my family home to take care of my father as he was passing away from cancer. So, um, understanding that you know being the caregiver is so important and how strong you have to be for the people that you are caring for. And sometimes we don't get the same time and effort that we need. And so it's always that whole idea of put your mask on first and then put the other person's mask on next to you. Well, I was doing that. And it's um, something that we all need to start doing if we haven't already. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I'm here, because caring for the caregiver is important. Because if you're not at your 100% or even 90% or even 75%, you can't be everything that those people need. So that's the reason I'm here. That's excellent. Uh, folks, the reason I'm here, and I'm just because it's, it's, I, I am a private chef and I actually come to your home and I cook for you, and the point of that, and the reason why I'm here is because I have a heart for people, period. I cook because I want you to feel like you're the most important person in the world. And as you guys take the time to do your recipe, and I want you to feel like you matter, and you matter, and you matter. And that's the whole point of David's reference, because you guys matter. Everybody wants to feel loved at some point in their life. And I love to do that through my cooking, which is why they use me quite often for a lot of events, because I love to give of myself for others. And that's why I'm here. So tonight we're going to start off our program and we're going to bring up actually our honorary chairs tonight, Adam and Jillian Masterbell. Well, on behalf of the David Refuge staff, our board of directors, the amazing volunteers and businesses, donors who made tonight possible, Jillian and I want to welcome you all to the 2022 Taste of David's Refuge. It's hard to believe that this is the 10th anniversary of David's Refuge, and with anniversary comes reflection. Um, I've been lucky enough to be on the board for the past 10 years, and I can remember our first year, and I'm sure that uh, our founders are going to talk about this, but David's Refuge started, for those of you who don't know, with couples staying at Warren and Brenda's home and spending time with them. Um, over the past 10 years, we've ex expanded beyond that, and I'm sure Warren and Brenda are thankful for that. Uh, we now provide services uh, through bed and breakfast, hotels, rhythm of rest events throughout the year, all types of services that provide and create a community for caregivers. Um, we are so proud that David's Refuge has created this active community of parents who know that they're not alone, that what they do matters, and that God and their community loves them. As parents of four children of our own, including triplet daughters, Adam and I know how difficult parenting can be. Yes, even 
don't have a child with special needs. <laughs> when the triplets were first born, so many people loved and supported us, and we would not have survived if they didn't. Parenting is hard, parenting can be isolating, and parenting can wear you out. And that is under the best of circumstances. I'm so grateful to those who supported us, which is why the David's Refuge mission has always been so important to us. We are so thankful that you are all here tonight. There are so many worthy causes and so many places for you to give of your time, talent, and treasure. Adam and I choose to support David's Refuge because we believe that caregivers need the help, love, and community that David's Refuge provides. Uh, rather than hear from Julian and I about why David's Refuge is so important and the impact that it has, uh, I'm going to give you an example or a couple of examples of things that parents have said about their experiences at the As a member of the board of directors, I am lucky enough to work with our incredible executive director, Kate Howard, who I'm sure all of you know. And one of the things that Kate does to keep the board focused on the mission is to provide us with feedback and information and and stories from parents who receive the Davis Reference Services. So I'm going to read a couple of comments to uh, from thing. parents because I what think they speak name? on it. Here's the first one. Yeah, how do I find you? Then? This was our first gathering okay, in 16 years. See, no, no, see. We felt see, so much acceptance, I, love, and understanding see, from the very moment I submitted our application until we pulled out of the lodge on Sunday morning. E we feel extremely blessed to have had this experience. Our private time during our stay, our stay some might find uneventful. It was perfect for us. Here's another one. Thank you so much for this amazing weekend. Our sons are 14 and 9, and both are special needs children. This is the first time we have left our boys to do something for ourselves since they were born. This weekend has allowed us to reconnect with each other and focus on the passion that we have for each other without the worry of the children. We are grateful for David's refuge and helping him to make this experience possible. I can tell you that these two small examples are just a sample of the impact that David's Refuge has on caregivers and parents. And interestingly, I didn't ask Kate to do this, but there is a, uh, a tent over here uh, to, to our left. In it, you will find books that uh, Warren and Brenda and then Kate left out for parents after they would stay for a weekend, and you can read comments for the last from the last 10 years and you can see the impact that David's Refuge has had on people. There are so many lives that have been touched by David's Refuge and really it's only possible because of the support and love of the community and everybody. Thank you again for being here and supporting this wonderful cause and helping us celebrate our 10th anniversary. We are also blessed to have with us the founders of David's Refuge, Warren and Brenda Cole.
now I know why I cry. <laughs> wow! Can you believe this? Ten years ago, actually about twelve years ago, we're sitting in the hot tub. Brandon comes up with this idea. What are we going to do with the swing that we built for David? It was empty. Memories flowed out of that place. People cared for us. People remind us that we were not alone. People remind us that there was a godly community that cared for us. And we could have taken all of our experiences with David and wrapped them up and thrown them into a closet, but that would have been a waste. And it would have been horrible. And so we willingly decided and joyfully did just to pay forward what so many people had done for us. And to start saying thank you to people, it would be impossible. I would miss. I start off and I just I echo what Daniel said, that we thank God that he gave us the ability to take the brokenness of our experience with David and turn it into something so freaking beautiful. Can I say that? And we, you know, it is just an honor. And, you know, I, I hope, I, I just met Matt over here in the corner. They're going to be going on their very first getaway. And, yeah, it's going to happen. If you're one of the families that we have served, would you just raise your hand? Because we're here because of you. We never could have even begun to think about doing this without actually having people come alongside us. We pulled together a group of people who are our board of directors. Adam was uh, one of the very first. Uh, Kent Gillis is here somewhere. In fact, I actually want to give a special shout out to Kent Gillis. Raise your hand, Kent. Tall guy, handsome. In the back corner. I worked with Kent at Houston Hills Bible Church. I stole him when I left and brought him to David's Refuge. And Kent has kept me on the ground and grounded and has given me the belief and given us the belief that we could do this. Uh, Adam, I had the privilege to uh, be the pastor at their wedding, so he couldn't say no to me when I asked him to be on the board of directors. And for 10 years, Adam has been faithful. And he has given his skills and his ability and his time. And Daddy's, David's mama. And uh, it is such a privilege and an honor just to say thank you to all of you. To say thank you to our, our staff, Kate, you and your team. Are, you've taken our baby and you've turned it into something even more beautiful. We love you, we thank you so much, and it is such an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause one more time. An amazing agency, beautiful people. And now, this is our wonderful executive director, Ms. Kay Howell.
and you all make that possible. I also want to thank the amazing staff at Heritage Hill for making this event possible for us, our board of directors, all of the volunteers, our MC Dream Team, who's going to be with us having fun tonight, our photographers, I mean, I could go on and on. I'm actually going to start with a caregiver quote, too. Uh, you may not know this, but in 2021, David's Refuge launched mental health counseling as a new service uh, to caregivers in our community. And one mom who went through this program, she sent this quote. She said, I am able to process my grief better, and therefore I am less angry and less sad. I am moving from victim to victor. Oh, right. Yeah. Since our vision at David's Refuge is to become a community nationally recognized for empowering caregivers to lead their families with strength and grace, I truly cannot think of a better quote that sums up what we are all headed for than this one. What we are trying to do through all of our programming and all of our services every single day, our respite, our wellness, our community programming, is help caregivers find their own strength and feel empowered to show up in the way that every single one of us wants to be able to do for our families. Knowing this is due to the support of this community, knowing quotes like this are coming in on a daily basis, knowing that impact is being felt like this, should give us all in this room a big reason to celebrate. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. We are gonna celebrate the mission of David's Refuge and the impact that David's Refuge continues to make. As we look ahead, you're not going to be surprised. I'm going to ask all of you to stand by our side. You, many of you, have been with us for the first 10 years, and I would love to see all of you continue with us for the next 50, 100, whatever. We're going to keep moving as we provide respite, resources, and support. But what we're also going to do is we are going to grow with the voice that we have, with the platform that we have at David's Refuge. We are going to grow into this community to become an advocate for what caregiver burnout truly is and how all of us in our own lane as leaders can stand up, identify the burnout, and help those around us, whether you're an employer, which means you can stand up for your employees who are caregivers, or a friend or a family member, and how you can truly come alongside that caregiver. I am going to ask all of you amazing people to do one thing for me tonight. My friend Evelyn stood at a podium uh, just last week at a beautiful event. And you know we've all had a lot of time to have moments of silence. We've had a lot of tragedy in this world, in this community, in our nation. But instead of a moment of silence, I would like us all to take a moment of commitment. Thank you, Evelyn, for that. Our moment of commitment is coming through the lens of what David's Refuge is here to do. Your moment of commitment for tonight is to commit to your own wellness. Commit to your own self-care. Commit to putting your oxygen mask on. Committing to seeking help when you're not well. Committing to helping others when they're not well. Because it is in that that all of us can try to bring this community around and stand up and be there for people as they need us, as friends, as family members, as employers. So we have a, a beautiful wooden table outside of memory lane. I want you to all take a marker and sign that table tonight. It's going in our brand new offices. Yes, yeah, sign it, put your name on it. And what that means is you are saying to all of us in this room that you are committing to your own self-care. You are saying that self-care is not selfish. Self-care is necessary. So when you sign that, I want you to believe it. Before I hand this mic back, I have a very special announcement. So our friends at the Easter Foundation found out that we were honoring Warren and Brenda tonight. They wanted to be here, but they're not local, so they called and they said, how can we really show up and support? They have offered to generously match every single donation that comes in at this event today. So every one full purchase, 
every auction donation. They are, they are working to help us match up to $20,000 in day of funds that are raised today at the event tonight. So please know that your dollars are doubled tonight and it's just gonna be an amazing evening. On behalf of our team, thank you for showing up. Thanks for being here. they know because they put up with her all the time as I do. She's walking in and wants three spots all the time. Right Beth? Is that what she wants? We take care of it because this mission's important. Your donations are important. That wine pulled tonight, if we can match that money, wow, it's a big deal. Absolutely. Guys, I want you to enjoy tonight as best as you can. Make sure you get down to the barn. There's a lot of live options. There is a very specific one involving three people that, you know, I don't want to say it's probably one of the better ones. <laughs> but it's probably one of the better ones. Guys, I'm just a whole lot of you. Who didn't invite me? <laughs> Listen, you yeah, didn't want to things, need to get it. All right. I missed the memo of the uh, match party here. Yeah. This As of like cruise directors, what are we doing right now? <laughs> The 70s called, they want their shirts. <laughs> That's your era. And so we have a lot of auction going on tonight. And we've got a lot of food down here at the barn. So please grab another drink here and some more appetizers if you'd like. And we'll see you down at the barn to have some dinner. Thank you folks for being here. We appreciate you.